Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a nail tutorial for you guys. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is the filing that I do. Um, I use the metal file to kind of even things out a bit and then the yellow file is like a buffer I guess. I'm not exactly sure if it's if I even use it correctly, um, but I just like to buff over the nails after I've um, done the metal filing. And basically I just use the rougher side of that yellow file on at first and then I go in with the smooth side to make the nail completely smooth. Um, I like to do this so that the polish has a nice even base to go down on. So yeah, I'm just going to fast forward you through the zoom, the filing process. I don't know what you want Let's have a bit of fun Till I downfall My love If you feel like I do right now Don't say you're on the run To the other side My After I'm done filing and buffing, I like to go in with this Sally Hansen, um, it's like this miracle growth um, base and I honestly do find that this does help my nails feel stronger and grow when I do use it consistently. I have a problem where I kind of like pick at my nails a lot or sometimes I bite them. I'm really trying to like stop that habit but I do feel like using this base has made a huge difference in, like I said, in the strength and length of my nails. So I've been trying to do my nails more often, so I hope that by doing them more often and using this base coat that it will help my nails grow more. And basically you just put this on first after you do all the filing and buffing, just paint it on like normal, and then I usually give it a few seconds to dry afterwards. That way it's not super wet and it's just a little bit tacky before I go in with my actual polish. Next, I'm just going to take my nail polish remover, and I just use, like, this is the CVS brand. You can use whatever nail polish remover you want. This one works well. I usually put just a little bit of this in the cap. That way, as I do my nails, I can clean up any mess that I make because I'm definitely not a professional at doing nails. So I just keep, like, two Q-tips, and I usually only end up using one. This is the KL Polish Cassiopeia Nail Polish. This is not focusing, but that's the color. Unfortunately, Kale Polish is closing. If any of you guys follow Kathleen Lights, you will know that. It's very sad because these polishes are definitely my favorite. They're some of my favorite colors ever. If you guys are interested in picking up any of the shades that are left, or the colors that are left, she is having pretty much a huge sale on her site, and you can. there's still definitely some available, so if you have not tried the brand, or if you have and have been wanting more, I definitely recommend that you pick some up. I am planning on doing so as well, just because I love these polishes so much. So anyway, I just go in and obviously paint the nails. It's pretty tough when I do the opposite hand, just because, you know, my right hand is my dominant hand, so it's easier to paint the left. But yeah, so this is the color that I'm doing. And I love this one because it's like a black, but it has like very tiny little sparkles in it. So from a distance, it probably just looks black. And then when you look up closer, it has these really pretty sparkles. And it just reminds me of the galaxy, which I love outer space and the way it looks. So this is definitely one of my favorites from the brand. I also do two coats on each hand of the polish just to create, you know, the amount of color and pigment that I wanted to have. And I feel like two coats is just standard across the board. As you guys can see, I am cleaning up the edges since I did get, you know, a little bit around the edges. And I definitely don't clean it up perfectly because I don't want to risk messing up the nail. Usually, like, if there's any on my skin, after washing my hands a few times, like, the next day, it'll all come off and it'll look good. So I don't worry too much about that.
Sally Hansen Strengthening Top Coat. I do feel like this does help the longevity of the polish for me. Nail polish usually chips on me within a couple of days no matter what brand I use, sometimes within a day, but I do feel like this helps extend the wear at least a little bit. Of course, I just always believe you need the top coat, so I don't, I'm not really too picky, but I think I would repurchase this one if I had to again. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would be fun to show you what I do for my nails since I very rarely pay to get them done. This is super simple, super easy, and I just, it's fun to do. I like the way it looks when nails are done. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. If you guys have any nail favorites, please leave it in the description, I mean in the comments below so that way we can all take some tips from you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.